Okay, at this, at this point, it's in wet storage, and uh, what we do is, is we'll put it in water, fresh water, uh, to help leach some of the salt out of it. The, uh, the, a lot of the salt is actually um, electrochemically uh, bound to the iron itself, and so you, you come up with, with a compound called ferric chloride. It's the same as ferric oxide. It's basically rust, and that's what iron wants to turn into is a big pile of rust and then it'll be stable. What we want to do is make it totally unstable, get all the uh, chloride out of it, which the chloride component of the salt that is combined with the iron and you basically have to do that by uh, through by applying an electrical current to the artifact and to an, a sacrificial anode which will be steel, iron, stainless steel, something, just so that you get a, uh, a flow of electrons going through the, uh, the water or the electrolyte. And uh, by doing that, it's going to attract the chloride away from the cannon and into the sacrificial anode, which will basically turn into a big pile of rust. But the iron, or iron in the, in the, uh, in the artifact is going to be back to its most unstable point which is free of all uh, contaminants like chloride or oxygen or anything like that. That's what we're trying to get. How long does that process take? Uh, in this particular case it probably won't take very long at all. I'm, I'm thinking a year at the most. Um, if, if you really go at it hard, it's something that can't, like from the Blackbeard shipwreck that's been under seawater for uh, 300 years, it's going. It takes several years to do it. Uh, in this particular case, I don't think this one's been in that contaminated. So the, you know, it, it the contamination goes into the metal over time. So the the longer it's been in, in the uh, salt water, the more contamination, the deeper it'll be, and uh, the harder it'll be to get out. In this particular case. Uh, I don't think it's going to take much at all.